Hello, I'm James Ingram for www.track2.com. I hope you'll find something of interest in this video. This is a quick and dirty first impressions of a uh, S gauge automatic block system basically thrown together for in a hurry for this weekend. It uses a railroad concepts uh, switching interface module uh, made by railroadconcepts.com or I should say rr-concepts.com. Uh, basically. Here's what's holding everything together is the uh, switching interface module. Uh, you can see the uh, identification on the top switching interface module, uh, the name on the bottom, Railroad Concepts. Uh, it's basically a double pull, double throw latching relay. Uh, and it, it, it's set up so it has convenient screw terminals to connect everything up. Uh, and it can operate on the 6, 20, 6 to 20 volts AC or 6 to 20 volts DC input power to power the relay itself. Uh, you can actually switch AC or DC or DCC track power through its relay point. So uh, you can switch any of the three commonly used uh, currents used for S gauge. Uh, basically on this side of it you've got two sets of uh, connections. Here's, here's a, uh, it's a double, the double poles are on this side. Here's the uh, one pole on this side, three three points, uh, three connections, I should say, and on the bottom, the other three connections. Uh, going over to this side of the unit, here's your uh, input voltage. In this case, uh, we're putting about 16 volts AC into it. Uh, and up here is your uh, where your reed switches hook up, uh, switch B and switch A. This one triggers the thing to usually to stop, and this one here triggers the thing usually to go. These uh, automatic block systems are used a lot more commonly in uh, large scale. Here's a piece of uh, LGB track with an LGB uh, reed switch in it. We'll pop it out. Basically, this, this reed switch is what senses the uh, train going by. You put a magnet on the bottom of the engine, typically, and the magnet passes over top of this reed switch, which snaps into the track, and that gives you your track activation. Uh, if you try to do this in the smaller scales, uh, it becomes a lot more difficult because this is plug and play for uh, G scale, for large scale, but uh, it doesn't play an American Flyer track. It won't fit. Uh, besides, the uh, smaller scale trains are a lot more cantankerous. You tend to have more derailments, uh, more things stalling on the track, uh, things coming uncoupled a lot more so than you do with the large scale. So I hope you'll. Uh, I'm thinking I'm, I'm going to make this statement if you can do this in S gauge with this equipment, you can certainly do it in large scale because it's a lot more difficult in the smaller scales typically to get this stuff working. Uh, since you don't have this thing for S gauge, in fact, LGB apparently stopped producing these things in early 2007. You can't even get this stuff at all right now, whether it's going to be produced again or not. I'm not sure anybody knows at this point. But basically, what substitute for this reed switch here? Uh, they make a, a reed switch of their own. Here's the uh, reed switch that Railroad Concepts supplies. It's basically, uh, as far as I know, it's a sta pretty much a standard reed switch enclosed in this plastic rubber case. Uh, then it, uh, a wire with leads on it. So this is what you, you use for like uh, S gauge in this case or a uh, smaller gauge. Uh, this block uses two of them. The uh, stop reed switch is shown right here in the track, and I've got the go reed switch for purposes of the camera here is over underneath the S helper track. It slides right under the track. One other thing to mention about these, I've got a piece of large scale track with the reed switch back in front of the camera. With these things, the way the LGB sets them up, uh, you have to you have to get them, the reed switches down in here when the magnet goes over. Uh, top of that and closes the reed switch. You've actually got to push enough current through here to actually 
activate an LGB switch motor driving a set of uh, double pull, double throw points. It's all electromechanical, so you have a situation where you've got a reed switch, a device that doesn't really like to handle a whole bunch of current, trying to push a switch motor and points, which is resistance. So LGB had to finely tune it uh, to make an efficient switch motor so you can get enough amperage through this reed switch to, to throw the motor without burning out the reed switch. Uh, the contrast here is with the uh, railroad concepts unit the uh, it, it's all electronic so your your uh, so in this case your your read switch which is connected back to your uh, uh, switching interface module all this thing does is is notify it just has to notify the uh, box that the, that the train is there but it doesn't have to it doesn't have to conduct enough current to actually throw anything electromechanical it's, the relay points are thrown electronically so in, in, and some people claim this works a lot more reliable in the long run, like in, in a specialized situation where you got a system like this in a restaurant where it's running day in and day out, that these hold up a little bit better. Uh, the electronic versions hold up a little bit better than the uh, electromechanical version. Now we need to talk about uh, magnets to put on the uh, to use to activate the reed switch. Now given going back to our large scale example where we started, you've got the large scale track here and the large scale reed switch. Uh, this is an LGB magnet and it snaps right on the bottom of an LGB loco. And I don't have a loco here to illustrate, but uh, when it's on the loco, it's right at track height. So this thing goes right over top of the magnet and uh, right over, this magnet goes right over top of the reed switch and closes the reed switch and that's how you activate the system. Now with this railroad concept system, they supply a round magnet. What I found is these round magnets, they'll actually stick to the floor of an American Flyer car. If you get an American, if any kind of American Flyer freight car with the metal bottom, and ideally it's a newer one it has the uh, free rolling trucks you can tell by looking at the right where I've got my finger they're cut out and there's a little insert for the needle the needle ended uh, axles on the modern ones if it doesn't have that cut out and that insert it's probably an old one and they it's like dragging a brick down the track for your uh, locomotive you can use them but they roll a lot harder but these magnets stick on the bottom of the car and there they will activate the uh, reed switch these magnets are extremely uh, powerful. You can't really tape them to the bottom of the car because they'll stick to the rail so so tightly that it'll actually tear it right off the bottom of the car if it's taped. Uh, if you super glued it to the bottom of the car, that would work. But uh, the easiest way is just to stick it on a metal car. And you can see I'll bring the rail up next to this. And it sticks so tightly that that rail, that, 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 uh, that rail and magnet are actually holding the car up in the air. And I have to really work it pull the thing apart. Now here's, a, here's an alternate way of putting the magnets on the car, uh, again discovering this by accident. This is a, an American, again a modern American flyer car and the uh, trucks are recessed and they're, they're metal and what you can do is stick one of these magnets, they'll actually stick right up to the bottom of the truck. I've actually got two of the magnets plus the foam spacer that uh, Railroad Concepts switch sh ships to uh, keep the magnet separated. So there's a magnet, a foam spacer, and another magnet sticking on the bottom of this truck, and it's just sticky in there. And this will also uh, activate the uh, reed switch. Now some of the cars, when you put the magnet there, it makes it stiff turning that way. This car, it, it doesn't seem to, it works well. But the easiest way is to do what we showed earlier, probably get a uh, American Flyer car with a metal bottom and just let the magnet stick on the bottom of the car.